I was very panicked. Ça, c'est très joli. <laughs> Ma mission dans la mode, c'est de glorifier la femme. Sinon, ça fait madame à l'église. It's really weird. I'm not afraid to be camp. Très contente de chez DVF. It's a very good idea. It's not a very good dress. Are you insane? Je me nerve là maintenant. Ça, c'est trop tard. On peut plus rien faire. Si ma mère m'a fait un cadeau dans la vie, euh, ma mère qui était quand même, qui a survécu euh, les camps de concentration euh, quand elle était très jeune et, et donc je suis née tout de suite après, euh, ma mère m'a appris une chose, elle ne m'a jamais permis d'avoir peur. Alors si j'avais peur du noir, elle me mettait dans une armoire, alors je pleurais d'abord, mais au bout de 20 minutes, je réalisais qu'il n'y avait pas de raison d'avoir peur du noir. Et donc c'est un très grand cadeau qu'elle m'a fait, elle ne m'a jamais permis d'avoir peur. Diane von Furstenberg is a Belgian princess who works in New York. She immigrated to the United States to become a successful fashion designer. New Yorkers call her Diane, Europeans Diane, and her customers by her initials and logo, DVF. Mes parents m'appelaient Diane, donc mon, mon vrai nom c'est Diane, mais euh, c'est Diane, c'est Diana, et c'est surtout DVF. An energy powerhouse, always busy, always traveling, and speaking a hundred different languages, Diane von Furstenberg is known and respected for her effortless feminine style and no false pretenses. Lots of color and vibrant prints, and on her podiums not only white models but black or Asian models as well, a rare thing in the fashion industry. But Diane von Furstenberg has survived for decades because of her long-term convictions. Come on, DVF is a member of the New York aristocracy. Having been very friendly with Count Andy von Warhol, she was a regular at Studio 54 back in the day. She's now married to Barry Diller, a billionaire media mogul and an archduke in his own right. Mon mari en particulier est un mari qui n'a pas peur de ma force, pas peur de mon succès, et ça c'est extraordinaire. Not a kind of an icon, she is an icon, doll. Yes, capital I. Being, first of all, a, really, a real exponent of New York, even our mayor, who could be less New York. I know she's not American, um, and that's part of being a New Yorker. And no, she's a princess, that she is. It is obvious, though, that Princess Diane von Furstenberg is a queen. I'm not afraid to be Cam. She is a star who autographs handbags, who has her hand kissed, who is a powerful figure, and who presides over the CFDA, Council of Fashion Designers of America. It's very important to me is that we export. On the New York paparazzi meter, Diane von Furstenberg sizzles. Oh, I love you, oh, you are yeah. Appearing at charity fashion shows and using her high society influence to support causes, especially women's causes. She is thus revered in both Washington and East Coast intellectual circles. I know, well, you know, for me, she's just, she's an old friend and she's always been very supportive of causes that are dear to me, like the, like, uh, the writer's organization, Penn, and, you know, free speech issues. And she's such a strong woman, you know, and her, the image of her, the women that she dresses is like that, and I, that's, I'm in favor of that. DVF gives to women, and women give back to DVF. Her stores are far from the cliche luxury store, with the solitary saleswoman standing at attention in a completely deserted boutique. No, here clients pile in, one after the other. DVF's original piece and stroke of genius is the wrap dress, as simple and basic as a pair of jeans. This is the wrap dress, obviously. This, is, this, this dress exists since I first started, since the 70s. Cette petite robe reste, est encore à la mode. Alors ça, c'est une chose bizarre, inexplicable, mais c'est comme ça. The day before a show is about dealing with a thousand problems. The day before a show when you're a woman is also about deciding which dress to wear for your final bow. 
Diane von Furstenberg has been hesitating for two days now. I have a, I need a dress. That one? <laughs> no. She seems to have chosen this printed dress that needs to be retouched and re-embroidered. I like it. I have it was much too big, yeah, so we have to narrow it. Another race against the clock has just begun. Re-embroidering the printed dress as quickly as possible before DVF changes her mind and finds another dress that will also need touch-ups. I think Diane's going to wear it. That's the idea. So it's going to be, it's going to be beautiful, it's going to be perfect. The fashion show is scheduled for 4 p.m. tomorrow, and it is clear that nothing is ready. This is the day before Diane von Furstenberg. This one is really works. It's a jumpsuit, which is quite good, isn't it? Yeah, you see, I like it when she puts it. No? No, yeah. C'est beau, hein? Tu es content? Je suis très content. Ok. Tu viens d'où encore, toi? Burkina Faso. Yeah. Okay. Ciao. A demain. A demain. That is a great look. Mm. Okay, so now what? Because I don't have that much time. Now come on. Okay. Diane. Yes. Sorry, it's me again. Okay. It's got busy suddenly. You upside down, my god. Yeah. This is Abby Lee's second look. Let me see Abby Lee. <laughs> oh, here we go. Let's see. I like the shred on top of that. It's good. Mm, it looks cute, doesn't it? You feel good? You like it? Okay. See you later. See you Saturday. <laughs> okay. I feel much better. I feel, this morning I felt like I was 120. Diane von Furstenberg is not only a stylist, but also a businesswoman at the head of a large company, close to her employees, whom she coddles, fusses over, defends, inspires, and they rarely say no to her, because you never say no to Diane von Furstenberg. Well, I'm the big mama here, you know, I'm everybody's mother. The design studio is managed by the very tense, then nervous, then very tense, then very extroverted Nathan Jenden. It is he who designs and creates the collections with Diane. Tous les défilés sont un peu un peu spéciaux, mais celui-ci c'est en fait la fin d'une époque. C'est le dernier défilé de Nathan qui est avec moi depuis 9 ans. Nathan Jenden and Diane von Furstenberg have worked on the collection for the past six months, but now Nathan has to make a quick exit as Enter Grace Cobb. An exterior stylist. Nathan, on a serious note, is yeah. this the best sample of this, or is there a better one? She's hired to take a fresh look at the collection, to add, take off, radicalize, and let's not forget, stand up to DVF. May the strongest woman win. Elle ne sait absolument pas ce qu'on a fait, ni de quoi s'attendre, parce qu'on vend beaucoup plus qu'on montre, parce qu'on montre 45 vêtements et on en, on en a en vente 200. From racks and racks and racks of clothes, yeah. Yeah. That's what it's all about, editing it down. Elle n'a jamais rien vu, parce que parfois, quand on travaille une collection, on est attaché à une chose, on a une idée d'une autre. Et c'est elle qui, qui nous aide à choisir. I'm doing the running order. It gives you a nice kind of synopsis, if you like. It's the flow of the show. <laughs> you know, you have all these sort of random looks, and to give it this kind of fluidity. So there's quite a lot of tailoring in this show, which is kind of a reasonably new thing. The through line of this collection is the masculine tailored suit with the feminine touch. 
a real headache for the stylist. Because even if theoretically Diane von Furstenberg loves the idea, concretely she will always prefer prints and flowered dresses over tweed jackets, no matter what the cut. The game of feminine against masculine, strict against flowing, is going to turn into a heated battle between the fiery DVF and Grace Cobb, the trend specialist. You see, look, just a tiny, look, what? Just a tiny, just <laughs> no, not that. Okay. It gives it a oh. tough element. <laughs> <laughs> Grace Cobb knows perfectly well that Diane von Furstenberg never ever gives in and that she'll only have one wild card, if any at all. This jewelry that I had, it's women, artisan women in Africa. I love that. Look, just okay, but look anyway, just look. Because it's so perfect. We've done the African bracelets, I think it's But it's so nice. Look, I don't think so. I mean, I think it's too... It's matchy, oh, okay. it? OK. It's beautiful, but again, That's fine. I don't care. I'm trying to place my African women. Do you remember we did so many of them? I know, but I want to do it all the time. Diane von Furstenberg gave in on the jewellery, so there are no more wild cards. She won't give in again. You see, I think she's too short. The dress. Yes, not the girl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, exactly. Uh, maybe not, but if there was some kind of either tulle or a little bit of lace. Is it a way to well, I mean, that was, I asked little, I mean. <laughs> he comes from a very frugal. <laughs> <laughs> How genius is that? It's like right. Can you see it? <laughs> So she looks like a cake. Uh -huh. You have to think of a cake with meringue. Is it a little it's small a on her? Hide a little the brown. I mean, ma mask it with yeah. mask it with this. Okay. You know, so you don't see the brown. Okay, yeah, roll it down. But it's nice that, nice that it's loose. Yeah. It's only, yeah. It's only. And she could have a mean bag. Can it come from? Do we have any? Let's see. Go walk. I'm going to give you a ring as well. I think we should have this. It should be short in the front and long, long in the back. OK, this is much better now. We've had a good day so far. I thought, well, they don't need me, but actually they have not yet. I didn't anticipate being filmed in my crappy Wellington boots today. <laughs> Thank you. It's very unique here. And you see, I want to show you something. This is my palazzo. With the great myth being that the New York designer works in a huge white minimalist loft or in an unrefined atelier with neon lighting, Princess Diane von Furstenberg had a castle built for her on 14th Street in the Meatpacking District, former seedy neighborhood gone strategic fashion district, the perfect place to let her creativity run wild. Inside are ateliers, the studio, the lab, and the boutique, as well as her private apartment with a rooftop garden. L'immeuble, on l'a refait, on a juste gardé la façade et on a complètement euh... On a complètement abattu et, et on a fait cette espèce d'escalier euh, qui va au, au paradis. <rire> Here is where we play with colors. And we create our colors and we create our prints. What is that? That's there. Oh, did you do that? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that is beautiful. That is divine. We could sell that downstairs here. Yes. So this is, oh, I thought it was it Jenna. Was <laughs> these, these are all our colors that you're going to see in the fashion show. These are all the fabrics that were made for the fashion show that you're going to see tomorrow. And then the shop is over here. It's not the right way to come in, but come on. It's nice to have the shop near. So we can go and check everything all in. The brand is a commercial success with boutiques opening all over the world, most recently in Sao Paulo. 
Adding to the pressure, tomorrow's show will have to please not only the national press, but the international press as well. For me, it's just to have beautiful clothes that editors love and resonates not just with my editors in the U.S., but with my editors in France, in Italy, in Germany, and everywhere. So that there's a, a global appeal. That's my most important thing. It will have to please the worldwide press, worldwide customers, and even those who wish to wear summer dresses in the winter. Where are you going? Are you going to a party? And where are you from? Lebanon. Lebanon. I want to open a shop in Lebanon. Everybody, yeah, yeah. People say it's, it's hot right now, Lebanon. Sky News at six. Alexander McQueen, the darling of British fashion, has been found dead after apparently committing suicide. Paramedics were called to the designer's London home this morning, but he was pronounced dead at the scene. But the big shocker comes when word gets out about the suicide of English designer Alexander McQueen, whose shop is near Diane von Furstenberg's Palazzo. He, a graduate of St. Martin, and she, a self-taught prodigy, had one thing in common, a shared passion, sudden change of atmosphere. Oh. Candles. Two men came out and just covered the windows. It was the most chill. I have a chill, oh. a chill from it. I didn't know this man, but to watch that is so moving. Oh. I mean, it's really sad. You see that? It's it's so sad. They, they put some white paper in front of, of my queen. And right there, you see, they put, and people are putting flowers. We should put flowers. I'm going to go. But maybe as the president of the CFD. Okay, so we can have everybody sign. Pass around this card, but don't forget the interns. Yeah. With what color pen, right? They can write with whatever they want. No, with whatever they whatever want. Whatever they want, okay. Okay, did you all sign the, the thing for my queen? No. The card? I just made a card. Yeah. Where is the card? Where did she go with the card, huh? She disappeared. Now she, I told her not to forget the intern. She probably went straight to the intern. Okay, on y va, on va en face. Here, yeah, put them on top, on top. What did they write? <sighs> We're all gonna die, why rush? Why rush? Hi, guys. Hi. How's everything? I'm going to the, see the intern. It's this way, right? Yeah. I came to see the underground of creativity. And then everything comes out of here. Here is the underground. You know, like Fantasia or Cinderella, when all of a sudden all the little things, they make it all happen. This is all what they do here. So did you all hear about Alexander McQueen? Yeah. Isn't it sad? Who, how many of you are from St. Martin? <laughs> the majority. That's so sad. That's so sad, isn't it? Yeah. To be that desperate? To be that desperate, yeah. Huh? It's just such a shock. I know. It's so pretty. Thank you. The petals. But don't make it heavy here. Okay. Because you'll see, you'll see when you see I know you're not coming to the show, but when you'll see the, 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 it's very, it's a little 20s, and I feel like the silhouette has to be a little cleaner now. I was in the, I was in a, ba I was, I worked in a factory. That's how I started, yeah. I, everybody starts in the basement. 
Je ne savais pas ce que j'allais faire dans la vie, mais je savais le genre de femme que je voulais être. Je voulais être une femme libérée, une femme qui est au volant de sa propre vie. Et je suis devenue cette femme à travers la mode. Pourquoi Parce que mon premier job, je travaillais pour un industriel de la mode. Je croyais que je ne faisais rien, mais en fait, j'ai tout appris. Et puis tout à coup, mon boyfriend est arrivé d'Amérique. On s'est fiancé, je suis tombée enceinte. Et avant que je puisse même me retourner, je devais aller habiter en Amérique. Et je... Mais je voulais beaucoup travailler. Alors je suis allée chez ce, chez ce monsieur pour qui je travaillais et je lui dis mais voilà moi je vais dans deux mois je pars en Amérique je vais me marier etc etc est-ce que tu me permets de faire quelques échantillons dans cette usine et je vais essayer de les vendre et il m'a dit oui et donc le soir quand tout le monde allait se coucher à l'usine je restais avec la modéliste et on a fait les premières armes. An anecdote confirmed by Diana Vreeland, the most powerful American editor of her era, the Anna Wintour of the 70s. She didn't come in with an idea. She came in with a package, with a product, with the whole thing worked out. This, she didn't leave it in our laps. She wasn't just a person with a dream, with a flair, with great taste. She came in with the whole thing digested, fixed, arranged. She was passionately involved in success. This philosophy still exists today. Let's see. Oh, no, 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 Yeah, wait, wait, let, let's just see for the look first. Go and walk and come back. Oh, that's... Uh, uh, that makes it much more of a younger dress instantly. Ah, c'est joli. This one's nice. It's so thick here. But it's also a good look in the fact that it's got that toughness, it looks modern and young. Yeah. Any time the they skirt. try to tell me something, everybody says young, because you think it's... I don't... I don't, I promise you. Everybody is always young, because then I should say, oh, I'm not young. <laughs> <laughs> totally. It so totally doesn't work. It's hard, and it's, it's that boyfriend hard. thing, isn't it, mm. that we were talking about? So she's got the feminine on with the masculine so literally in this, but I think it yeah, works. Okay. I don't like that look. <laughs> what with legs like that? <laughs> I think it's cool. What I about think. the jacket that has the 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 knitted sleeves? Yeah, but then it becomes soft, and then everything's no, it's not soft. soft. I understand what you're saying, but I don't think it looks hard. It looks like. A little boy, I mean... It's that boyfriend thing, it's the... Boy yeah, but it's, a, it's, a, it's a boring boyfriend. No, but I like the concept. It's just not flattering. It makes her thick. But boyfriend jackets aren't flattering. Yeah, but I don't... But they're a fashion but statement. should always be flattering. But they're a fashion statement. I don't care about fashion. I don't care about women. OK. Pour moi, ce qui est important, c'est la femme. Ma mission dans la mode, c'est de glorifier la femme. Et donc, pour moi, la femme a passe avant la mode. Meanwhile, the dress DVF plans on wearing for her show tomorrow is still being retouched and re-embroidered. Big PR meeting, and it's time to place the guests, buyers, journalists, editors, and celebrities on the seating chart. I spoke to Meryl Streep yesterday. Naomi, she's coming to the show? As Diane von Furstenberg is an international socialite, from New York to Paris, she is an expert in diplomatic seating. It's important that people se déplace, they come to you. You have to give them their respect. You have to be sure that que les gens s'entendent. Parfois, il faut mettre ensemble des gens qui ne se connaissent pas parce que vous pensez que ce serait intéressant. Je veux dire, ça fait partie d'une certaine cordialité. Between the Marchioness Victoria de Beckham, the courtesan Naomi Campbell, and the Baroness Anna de la Wintour, who will she choose to sit next to her husband, the Archduke Barry Diller? Not 
Like to bury. Yeah, you're that's crazy. Okay. Are you insane? Never. Where's Anna? Yeah, well, you put Anna next to Barry. Okay. And uh, Arisha and, and Cecilia Atias. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, I saw right. that. I'm gonna put Susie on the Okay, wait, because uh, uh, there's somebody I want to meet, uh, Cecilia. Cecilia, who on la met à côté de qui? We, you should put her net, net, I mean, she should get a little attention from her fresh press. But wait, hold on. Maybe we put Karin Rothfeld on the other side of it. Or maybe I put Cecilia next to Barry. Yeah. They don't know each other, but I like her. Well, where's Wall Street Journal? That's your most important. That's the only national paper we have. Where is it? The paper is Are you insane? Why would you put them there? I don't like them, but you have to well, sit them in front. Right, they should. You put the Daily News in the front row. But again, it's different levels of reporters. I don't care. Yeah. I want to be. I, it's because the others don't do it that I don't do it. I'm sorry. No, yeah, but Diane, there's a hierarchy. Yes, there but is there's a hierarchy, area. so you, the top person that you I have that. sits yeah. in the front row. I put a jacket on, which I quite like as well. The battle of feminine masculine between designer and stylist continues. You're going to hate this because it's another long jacket. You're so going to go, no, don't like it. I know you are. No, I like that, actually. You sound like me. Yeah. <laughs> We're both Capricorn. <laughs> moi, je ne m'engueule pas souvent. Ou bien on me convainc, ou bien moi je convainc. But I think that's cute. Just it that? just, yeah, because it makes walk. it masculine. It's nice when you walk as well. So I wouldn't mind a hat with that as well, because it's a bit of tailoring. Sorry. It's good, isn't it? Turn around. Stop. Almost right. It's the jacket that... Well, because it's a man's jacket at the end of the day. It is a man's jacket. No, I get it. Maybe Let's see you walk with it closed. Better. Yeah. Better. Yeah. This dress is, is a game, too. Yeah, no, we, we, we're taking it. It should be, yeah. See, the only thing we can do, if we want to make it lower, we can cut over no, the No, 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 no. You cut it here, at the middle. You see, it's why you have that? Who wants all this fabric in your ass? It doesn't work. Hold on. It would be so much better if it was loose. Okay, so wish me good luck. Should I be a little worried now about the chiffon dresses? Sweet <laughs> emotion! Oh god. Into my world of pain. We're having thread issues. But I think I'm going to have to hand the torch over to somebody else because I, I need to go and get my hair cut today. Diana, the two dresses are in direct competition. She's either going to wear that or she's going to wear that. The printed dress that Diane von Furstenberg planned on wearing for her final bow has undergone so many time-consuming alterations that it is now competing with another printed dress. And if she doesn't want to wear it tomorrow, you will be, like, really disappointed. I, I might cry. These are my grandchildren. Yeah. And they pretend they love me. No. no. Okay, guys, you are going to the theater in ten minutes. I thought you were coming. I meet you at the uh, intermission because now we have to do makeup. Yes. Makeup. She paints. Go and show your painting. I had somebody come here and I pretended it was a Morandi. I said I paid two hundred fifty thousand dollars for that Morandi. 
<laughs> what did I say? Did you say? I said to Tuberi, and he said, "Oh, really?" Yeah, so he didn't say anything. I said, "Now nah, it's the leader." <laughs> We're thinking of a peacock. Mm -hmm. It's Metamorphosis by Ovid. Ovid. It's 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 Kafka. Wait, I need help. Look, that's for the makeup. Look, do you like the makeup? Oh yeah, that's so pretty. Really? Pretty, yeah. Something that changes. Mm -hmm. so Iridescent. Sparkly. Iridescent. Mm -hmm. Look, Antonio, isn't it pretty? Do you like that? Ooh, it like looks nice. Yeah, it looks like a butterfly. Is it supposed to go on like the avatar? Yes, it's a little avatar. Oh yeah, the little avatar, exactly. Little avatar. She's a very powerful woman in fashion, so everyone comes to the show, everyone expects something really great from her, and every element of the show has to be strong and say something about her identity, and I think she's one of the few designers that has a very strong, clear identity, playing with that, but then making sure it's of a really high standard is, is very important. Right, well, that's exactly what I wanted to do. The blessings. But I do like that. All the, yeah. Look at the Warhol. Wow. Diane von Furstenberg by Andy Warhol is always my hugest inspiration. You and Andy must have been so incredible together. Andy didn't talk very much. Everybody says that. Andy never talked anywhere. Andy would go like this and say, gee, that's great. <laughs> he would do like that with his mouth. Gee, that's great. <laughs> oh, look at this one. This one is a small one. But do we have any bones? That's, that is yeah. a tiny one. That's, great. that's brilliant. This one, he also that's gave so cute. That's like a tile. Yeah, he came to dinner and he brought me that. It says, you see, uh, you can't read anymore. <laughs> uh, I feel very proud, though. Yeah, me too. I think that's done. So, okay. Lovely. Okay. What is that? I think this is a never-ending dress, actually, to be honest. <laughs> I hope she likes it. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll cry. <laughs> Je voulais faire un show masculin et finalement c'est la chose la plus féminine qu'on a jamais fait. Tous les coïncidences vont être masculines. Ouais. Ils font tous des mecs, alors moi que je fasse moi la femme, non oui. <rire> Should I be a little worried now about the chiffon dresses Why? Why should you be worried about that? I don't know. I have to worry about something. Exactly. <laughs> I am the tool girl. <laughs> Every time you come here, you're going to see me sewing tool for the rest of the evening. I'm the tool girl. <laughs> so the sides are being taken in all the way down the sides. And that's what I'm doing. But I have to hand sew it. More time, but more precise. It'll be done before daylight. Tomorrow, I hope. <laughs> so I have to do this, then I have to do this layer, then I have to do this layer. Oh, okay. There's can't. this dress for you as well. Okay. So, but I probably will wear the other one. I hope she likes it. Otherwise, I'll cry. I, I might cry. The other one is good. Yeah. Well, I didn't put it, I don't know. Because I know it's always like that. A woman, we're always like that. We put two or three possibilities, and then at the last minute, we choose what we're going to do. Under enormous pressure, Diane von Furstenberg is ready to leave for her show. To calm her nerves, she continues the fittings, but this time on her grandchildren, who will be accompanying her. Diane von Furstenberg's life is one great big luxury fitting. 
Hi. 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 Let's see, Antonio. Also, it put tissue paper in the front. Well, they were too big, you mean? Yes, yeah, Oh, that's pretty. Yeah. Do you feel comfy? Yeah. Walk. Hi. Hello, how are you? Wish me good luck. I'm going to my show. <laughs> yeah. So it is Valentine's Day. Yes. What are the three things you love the most? Uh, my children, my grandchildren, and myself. Perfect. <laughs> and I love your book. Thank you. Thank bye you. Bye. bye. How long does it take you to prepare for a show? Oh my God, it takes a long time. Cause like four months? Yeah, well, first for the clothes, it takes you six months to make the, to prepare the clothes and the collection and everything. Months? Yeah. Oh, so like a year. Yeah, I know. And then now we're preparing, you know, the minute it's finished, you prepare the other collection. Yeah. We do everything together in our family. We're very... Social. <laughs> and very close. We do everything together. That's not true. Ah! <laughs> I love you too, darling. I love you all so much. I'm so lucky. You see, now I would be all nervous. <gasps> Are the fashion editors going to like this and they're going to like that? <laughs> she and... actually is very nervous. No, Sir, she's yes, never she's nervous. nervous. Oh, my God. Do you think they'll like that? <laughs> How many people go to the show? Yeah. Uh, more than a 1,000 people. That's more than my school. <laughs> yeah, I want to do backstage interview list. So Canal Plus, Channel... Shanghai, so we have one, two, three, four, 11, 12, 18. What the fuck is all of TV? So as soon as Diane's here, we can start doing interviews. Oh, you're gonna be very famous. I'm famous, you're... I wanna be famous. Okay. Guys. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Don't fight in the middle of all the paparazzi. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. I gotta go, guys. I have a show. Hello. Oh, that looks beautiful. Regarde. Look how beautiful it looks on. Uh, you see with the light? Yeah, it looks pretty. It's like all musty colors. Yeah. You know what I did for everyone this morning? I passed out condoms for Valentine's Day. All of it's kind of in the inner corner from a black cream base, contoured face. Black cream base, contoured face. And she's, Diane's a huge inspiration to me as a woman, as a strong woman, as an independent, sexual, money-making, creative person. What time is it? Can we walk and talk at the same time? I just want to try to check everyone. The iridescent makeup invented last night must be applied to approximately 30 models. James Caliardos oversees a small army of makeup artists. Hurry, everybody, hurry. You're going too slow. Okay. How's this looking out? I would do more of that bluish color, okay. just to add another dimension in that black. OK, talk and work at the same time. Don't do that. No? No, high stressful. <laughs> OK, look, it needs to go all the way oh, up. Ah, oh, not you too. It's a complicated eye, right? No, but um, no, I don't think you should oh, yeah. take it out. One okay, second. Thank you. Hi. Just catch you it. You look good, by the way. Uh, but maybe we can catch, Just catch it. Catch it more. Okay. A okay. little, yeah. Okay. Okay. Or or pay or put or put a pale pink with it. Okay. I'm fixing the tool. I'm fixing the tool. I guess it was too heavy. Well, I want to try it on Isaac. Try it on her? Yes, I'm going to try it on her. I need to try this dress on Natalia. I need to check the hem on Natalia, OK? Roadblock, traffic jams. Where is my team? Excuse me, excuse me. Is Natalia in hair? No, she's in makeup. OK, great. 
Natalia, my love, when you're done, I need to try on your second look just to check it's okay on the hem. Is that all right? When you're done. Thank you, sweetheart. Is never under control. <laughs> but at some point, the show has to start, so that's when it's under control. <laughs> Talita, here, say hello. Here, meet, meet my friend Tim. This is Talita. Hello. Antonia. How are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Because I want to hold him on a leash. Uh, my collection is, uh, is that a woman can, be, can have a man's life in a woman's body. Thank you. We have Angela from Women's Wear. You know, I always wanted to have a man's life in a woman's body. It's the idea that a woman can be a banker, a biker, and a ballerina. A banker, a biker, and a ballerina. <laughs> All at the same time? All at the same time. In three words, banker, a, a biker, or a ballerina. For me, the words are clear. The words are very important. A banker, a biker, or, or a ballerina. Plus vous les, vous les, vous les dites, plus vous, vous y croyez. And it, it shows that a woman can be a banker. Uh, et ben, finalement, c'est des vérités qui sont dans l'univers. A biker and a ballerina. And a ballerina. And a ballerina. Or a ballerina. Or a ballerina. Ba or a ballerina. Que una donna può essere banchiere, motociclista, ah. oppure ballerina. Un mix. Un mix. mix. Tell us about a man's life and a woman's body. I told you already. Uh, just one more time, please. What? A man's life and a woman's body? Yeah, that that was my fantasy. That's the inspiration. That's what we all want. OK, great. Thanks Thank a you. lot, Diane. You look like a biker. <laughs> I said that a woman can be a banker, a biker, and a ballerina. And here you show it. <laughs> you look lovely. You look yes. lovely. Is this a dress from the collection? Yes, it is. OK, we're going to go to our seats. Okay. OK, see you later. Be careful. Don't step on your foot. Tu es sublime dans le film I Am Love avec Tilda Swinton. J'adore. <laughs> Moi, je trouve c'est un chef d'œuvre. Oui. Hein? Tu es superbe dans le film. Superbe. She's a mother, she's a lover, she's a sexual woman. Um, I, I think those are all the things that a woman wants to aspire to. So I want to be a mother, a lover, and a sexual woman, huh? Girls, we need to start first looks now. Oh, God. We're not going to have time to try the dress on. We're going to have to start the show. Divya? Dress, she's please. she's like no it's you know what she's like yeah she how are you dress like <laughs> we've got the wrap dress as well so we can look at both or, or, or not show anything all I, all I want to say is I want you to be proud to be who you are okay each one of you be very proud to be who you are seduce smile and enjoy it. Starting to line up, can you all move back this way, please? Okay, so wish me good luck. All right, guys, let me see now how my girls look. Now is the moment that I'm nervous. Hi, Divya. <laughs> Makeup is wonderful. She looks nice, actually. Huh? Let me see, let me see what. <sighs> yes, yeah, she does. Uh, it does look good. It's a bit, it's kind of Can she take it? one in her hand? I think it's in her hand. Yeah? Then remember, seduce and be proud to be you. Be proud to be you. Yeah, and seduce and smile and be you. Be proud to be you. Que ce soit les mannequins, que ce soit les femmes qui m'aident mes hommes, moi, mon rôle, c'est de leur donner confiance en elles. Be proud to be you. 
Be proud to be you. Quand je leur dis soyez fiers d'être vous-même, ça veut dire ce que ça veut dire. Ça, ça veut dire soyez confiante, soyez vous-même. Parce que plus vous êtes vous-même, plus vous serez belle et plus vous ferez honneur à mes vêtements. Be proud to be you. I will. Be proud to be you. I am. She should have closed it. You left it open. Be proud to be you. Hold it, hold it, hold it. La couleur est une chose extrêmement importante, extrêmement importante, parce que imaginez un jardin en noir et blanc. Et alors, on comprend l'importance des couleurs. I feel the love. I always feel the love. Yeah, it was wonderful. It was really beautiful. Very glamorous, very sexy. How are you? Hi, Jan. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Did you like it? I loved it. Gorgeous. Really gorgeous. Thank you. Really gorgeous. We yeah. love you, yeah. Diane. Oh, yeah. Your designer was a little bit triste. You l'as pas tué. You l'as pas tué. No, because he's so much. I know he had the head. C'était génial. Et tu étais tellement bien. C'est vrai? C'était tellement bien. Bon, mais je, 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 parce que tout à coup ce matin, je dis merde, je voulais faire du le mec et maintenant c'était trop féminin. Mais finalement, c'était vraiment bien. Le message était clair. Ah, non, non, c'est très joli. Je trouve que c'est très élégant, c'est d'une grande classe et c'est très facile à porter. Et on peut être toute la journée, travailler et, et non travailler en Diane von Fustenberg. And I love the way she does the catwalk. She's the best walker. She has a great future ahead of her.
think she's coming along very nicely. She's like the youngest of them all. Even people with a great past want a great future. Sure. Do you like the show? Yes, the show is good. The show is first rate. And her? Oh, uh, not much. Wow. I don't think much of her. But the show is really good. Oh, God. <laughs> The following season in New York, Yvon Mespelard will replace Nathan Jenden as the new studio director and will take his place by Diane von Furstenberg's side.